joins us now with the opposite stories. Tiny little homes that are apparently doing pretty well on the sales side. What's the deal, Grady? Connell, tiny homes are getting even tinier. You've seen ones like this one behind me and the ones they're building back here. These are the custom tiny homes that you've seen all over TV in the past few years. But this company outside Chicago is uh, changing the game a little bit and making these tiny homes that don't need any special permitting except for a shed permitting in your backyard. This one could work as a pool house type building and then this one is really interesting with millions of people still working from home. It's a tiny office. I hadn't even thought of that, but not everybody has a spare bedroom or space in their house, but they might have some backyard space, so they could plop this right down in their backyard. Bob Clarizio, the founder and CEO of Bantam Built. So, uh, you know, a lot of people are interested in this because they're stuck at home right now, and they want a space where they can get work done, kind of like you are right now. Yeah, um, you know, a lot of people like working from home, but they just don't like working with everybody else that's also at home. The kids are distracting, the wife is also trying to work. Yeah, we're supposed to be simplifying our, our lives right now, and it just seems for a lot of people working from home, especially at their kitchen table, it's becoming a lot more stressful. So we decided that we take the five years of experience that we have in designing small spaces and bring it to somebody's backyard and give them a little bit of peace of mind during these challenging times. Yeah, and it's kind of all you need, Connell. You've got a desk, you've got some shelving, even got a big screen TV. Uh, it's actually set up with uh, Alexa, too. Alexa, turn on the fan light. There you go. So it's a pretty high-tech thing, and it actually costs a lot less than remodeling your home for a new office wood or adding on to your house. 8500 bucks for this. So, Connell, I know you've been working out of the home studio lately. Are you ready to move into a tiny office or more importantly is your wife ready for you to move into a tiny office kick my dog out i mean that that actually might work granny trimble left speechless by my commentary on the tiny homes there in illinois but that's pretty that's a pretty cool story maybe i should actually freeze it in the in the form of a question if i wanted to ask him a question that's my fault uh when we come back we'll get into our top stories of the day and i don't think they'll be able to build a home for us to do it in the backyard between now and then but we do have a news conference to cover that's about an hour from now i guess 2 p.m eastern the senate republican conference